Today is just a quick video to talk about Bamboo Lab and specifically the fact that they have officially issued a recall on the A1 printer. Now, just to be crystal clear up front, this is on the A1 only. It is not on the A1 Mini. It is not on the X1 series or the P series. This recall is related to the bed power cable which goes from the main printer to the bed. The bed on the A1 is a mains powered bed and it appears there are issues around where the cable enters the back of the printer. As for the exact cause of that, we'll talk about that a bit more in a minute. And whilst Bamboo initially released a statement saying they're going to issue some parts to people to help with strain relief, they've now instead issued a full recall and do not use notification to all A1 owners. Now I didn't actually review the A1 on this channel and that is why I didn't initially put a video out on this. What I will say though is I'll always try to talk about issues with any of the brands I do review products on and as I have reviewed the Bamboo Lab printers such as the X1 Carbon, the P1P and the A1 Mini, it is only fair that I make people aware of this issue. There is also a couple of allegations out there that people who are reviewing Bamboo printers who are affiliates, and I am an affiliate of the Bamboo Affiliate Scheme, as I am Creality and a few others, that are trying to keep this under the radar, and that, in my opinion, is simply not the case. So I thought, at least if I acknowledge it on this channel and give you as much information as I can, you can make the decision on A, if this affects you, but B, if it doesn't, what is actually being done here. Now, just to give you a quick summary, this issue, as I've said already, is related to the Bamboo Lab A1 printer. It does not affect the A1 Mini, does not affect the P series or the X series. Now, the issue has been brought to light over the last week or so, and a number of users have started to report issues with the cable that goes from the back of the printer to their heat bed. The A1 series has a mains voltage heat bed, which means instead of using lower DC voltage, such as 24 volts, it uses either your one 110 or 240 volts to allow the heat bed to heat up quicker, basically. Now, the issue seems to be that people were reporting their cables were starting to get damaged around this area here. A number of users reported their cables actually burning out. You can see on this image here that there appears to be damage right where the cable enters this stress relief part at the back of the printer. If we scroll down, there were also people starting to post images of their cables with issues. So, for instance, this shows cables entering the back of the printer with sort of a rumpled up edge around here. It looks like the cable has been bent excessively, which has caused a ripple in the outside sheath. Now, after a few days, Bamboo did release a blog post talking about the issue, and they believed it was actually caused by external factors, not strain relief on the cable in use, but as a result of either pressure or force being applied to the cable externally, whether that be in transit or anything else. You can see here, they showed a detailed image of the issue and they could show you the a good cable as well and what they initially said was if your cable is showing no signs of stress it's absolutely fine to use however they were going to issue people a strain relief part that you could fit to your printer to prevent any damage in the future and they also made an STL file available of this part that you could download and print via the link here directly from the Bamboo Lab Maker World website. Now, since then, Bamboo have released an updated blog post where they talk a bit more about what the situation is, as well as make it clear about what they intend to do to resolve this issue. Now, I'm not going to walk through the whole post and read everything, but I am going to highlight some very specific sections. Now, first of all, they're saying that less than 0.1% of printers are affected. And what's an interesting take from this, and something that I suspected already, is that they are still actually investigating. In fact, they are still waiting for affected units to get back to them so they can see what the situation actually is. There's been some criticism that Bamboo Lab took too long to talk about this. However, you have to understand that this only started to come to light on the 20th fifth of January. It is now the 3rd of February and in that time they've released two statements on the situation already but they still don't even have faulty units in their hands to be able to perform proper diagnostics on. They are though still looking at what they can do internally and looking at what the cause could be and they reaffirm in this that they believe that it is related to external stress that is causing the issue. 
Now, with regards to what the situation is and what they intend to do, the first point they make is as follows. Given the challenges customers face in reliably assessing the cable damage on their own and to ensure our customers' absolute safety, we are extending the recall to include all A1 printers currently in the market. Regardless of their condition, we strongly urge all customers to stop using their A1 printers until the issue has been resolved. So, what they are saying there right now is... They still don't fully understand the situation, but for safety, they're saying if you have an A1, you should not use it at this time. They go on to then state what they intend to offer people as a solution. And to be clear right now, you are going to need to give them some time because things like this is not easy to do straight away. Option one, return for a refund. We know no one wants to ground their printers and wait months for a replacement, so... All customers can return their A1s and receive 100% refund of their purchase. This means you will need to repackage your printer and ship it back to us if you bought it from them, or if you bought it from a retailer, you can take it back to them. They say the process is going to take about 15 days. If on the return you wish to swap to a different Bamboo Lab model, such as the A1 Mini, the P1 series or the X1 series, they will provide you an additional $80 discount on that printer over the top of your initial refund. So option one is return for a full refund and they will give you $80 towards another Bamboo Lab printer should you wish to choose one. Option two that they're offering is going to be a replacement heat bed. They are going to supply you with a replacement bed as well as new cable assembly that you can install on your printer that you have. Alongside that replacement heat bed, they are going to offer you a $120 discount voucher for the trouble of having this issue. Obviously, if you choose this option, you are going to need to actually swap the bed yourself and they are going to give you this voucher which can be spent at any product on their online Bamboo Lab store. Now, this replacement bed is going to take some time to get out and they expect these to start shipping around the end of March. March. They have provided instructions as well as a video showing you how to replace the bed and I suspect they will show some more content around that closer to the time. Also, if you choose the option to replace the bed alongside the $120 credit, they're also going to extend the warranty on the printer by an additional six months. Now, as for when will there be A1 printers in the market available to buy that don't have this issue, as I've said, they intend to start shipping beds to affected users around March, and they've said that they expect the normal supply of A1 printers in the marketplace to be absolutely fine by about May. That is a bit longer. What they're doing, obviously, is resolving the issue for existing users first, and then models in the market to be able to be bought will be around May. So if you wanted to return turn yours and then buy one later, you're going to be talking May, June time at the earliest before you would get one that wouldn't potentially have this issue. Now, just to summarise, the options you're going to have are as follows. Option A is to return your printer for a full refund. And if you want to buy another Bamboo Lab model, get up to $80 credit towards another one. Or you can choose to replace the bed on your printer once it's available. They will ship you a new bed. They will issue you a $120 credit and extend the warranty on your printer by an additional six months. Now, just looking into this issue a little bit more, we don't fully know what the cause is, but there is a lot of information out there if you go looking for it. So, for instance, on the Bamboo Lab community forum, you've got some threads that people have been posting their issues on. This was the one I showed you earlier that has the image of their damaged cable there. And then if we scroll down, there's lots of talk in here. You've got the original image from Bamboo showing what's good and bad. So that is the bad damage cable. You've got that image there showing you it with the rumpled up. And then that one there showing you it absolutely fine. If we then scroll down, though, there are people showing you pictures of their cables. So here is a user's which clearly has that rumpled area there at the back. But what's quite interesting is there are also people who've shown issues with this cable in other places. So, for instance, this one here shows an issue all the way back here and not at that point there. And actually, there are people here with brand new printers opening out the box that has the issue already. Let me just scroll down to that. Here you can see the printer still in its box. 
and here you can see he's showing the brand new printer with the issue already. He does mention in his images that the packaging is absolutely fine. There's nothing here to indicate that there's been any damage. And again, if we scroll down a bit further, you can see this one there still actually in the box on packaging, yet it still has this issue. Now there are some people on Facebook such as Troy Herbert Hugh on the Bamboo Lab A1 series owners that shows you what he has found on his printer. He tore it down there and what's interesting is when you look at this post here, he says he's found the problem and his black wire was the one that was damaged. Now as for the actual cause on this right now, we simply don't know. What I will say though is that there is a huge amount of nonsense out there. People talking about the cables being too thin, not correctly specced, not the right type of cable. Right now there is no evidence to suggest Bamboo have done anything specific that has caused this. I have seen the diameter of the cables shown inside and there is nothing here that gives me concerns. Yes, they're quite thin, but there is so little wattage in this heater, it is not needing something like 1.5 or 2.5 mil cables. 0.8 or 1 mil will absolutely be fine for the situation that we have here. What it seems is there is clearly something that has gone wrong and what we need to understand is what the actual cause is and hearsay and nonsense isn't going to tell us that. Product damage and fault investigation is a very complex subject. You can test a product as much as you want in your labs, in your environment that you've built it in. It is only though when you put something into people's hands do issues like this start to arise. I have always said on this channel, it is not what happens that's important, it's what you do about it. And Bamboo have absolutely handled this as good as I've seen any company. As I said earlier, there has been some criticism that they've taken too long to get on top of this. The first posts were on the 25th of January. They had already put blog posts out by the end of January and they still don't have faulty units in their hands. So you have to give them time to fully get to grips of what the issue is. It is no good them trying to give answers to a problem that they don't actually know the cause. No one is saying this is good and no one is saying that it is acceptable to have an issue like this. But it happens. If you make a product, at some point you are going to have problems that is going to cause you to need to do something like a recall. And what's important is how you handle it. And frankly, I think Bamboo have been extremely good in what they've done so far. The options that they're given are more than acceptable. As I've said, return and get $80 off another printer. That in itself is a great deal. Or keep the printer, get a $120 credit, which you could spend on filament. You could buy another printer, you could buy an accessories and get an extra six months warranty. But obviously you're gonna need to swap the bed yourself. Now, I don't have an A1 here, so I won't be doing this myself. I wish I had an A1 actually, because if I'd have bought one, I'd be getting the $120 credit myself. However, unfortunately I don't, so it's not something I'm going to really be following up on in the future unless something dramatically changes. What I will probably do though, is talk about this a bit more in my live streams. So if you're new here, please do make sure you are subscribed. We generally do a live stream on a Sunday night. Bamboo Lab are handling it. If you're not happy with the printer you've got, send it back. I can strongly advise the P1S or the A1 Mini. They are both fantastic printers. Getting $80 off a P1S is a cracking deal and that's probably where most people are going to land. Although if you don't need the bed size, the A1 Mini is just as good from a print quality point of view. But obviously it's not a Core XY, it's not an enclosed printer, so that doesn't come with some advantages either. However, P1S, $80 discount, Tell you what, that is a stonking deal and that's probably where I'd be going. Now, I hope you found this video interesting. If you have, please do let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you have any questions, please do put them down there as well. I have reviews of the A1 Mini. I have reviews of the P1S as well as the X1. And if you're interested in seeing them, there will be links to them below as well. Now, hopefully this has helped you with the information on what the situation is. If it has, please also consider checking out the links to my Patreon as well as buy me a coffee. I want to say a huge thank you to all of my Patreons on this channel. I would not have been able to make content on this channel without their support. And if you'd like to support us to allow us to keep making content in the future, please do consider checking it out. Anyway, that's it from me on this one. Please do let me know what you think below. Stay safe. I will speak to you soon.